Hi everyone, Robbie King here at the Carrick and Loch Lomond. Um, today folks, we're going to look at trying to control the ball in the wind. We're going to look at hitting this low punch shot. Uh, the ball's going to fly underneath the wind. Um, quite fitting that we've got the Alfred Dunhill Cup coming up this week at St Andrews. So uh, you're going to see the guys playing around you know, St Andrews, Kings Barnes, Canoustie in really windy conditions. And you'll see them all trying to control the ball in the wind. Okay. The first thing that's very important here to, to understand is that when we're playing in the wind, we're really trying our hardest not to hit the ball hard. I know it's quite hard to see a lot of guys there hitting into a wind, you know, and they're trying to force the ball through the wind. It's never going to work because all we're going to do, the more club head speed we create, the more backspin we create, the ball's going to climb in the air and we're just going to lose distance. So what the guys will do is, you know, let's say we've got 160 yards and they'll normally hit a seven iron. They're going to go possibly a six, maybe even a five, depending on how strong the wind is. Um, and that's going to allow them to be able to reduce their club head speed and you know, put less backspin on the ball. Then it comes to you know actually executing the shot. You know, you'll see the guys, what we've always done is move the ball back in our stance. We want to try and hit down and get that low flying shot. I used to try and do this when I was younger and um, you know when I would go and play in competitions I'd move the ball back in my stance and I'd hit a lot of shots that would go well out to the right and then maybe the next shot I'd really use the hands and I'd hit this big hook and the ball would finish well off to the left you know and um, now we understand why um, this is you know when we move our ball position we then need to change one other thing all right we need to change our aim and this is why so when we're going to hit this shot here, you know, the, 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 we always want the bottom of our arc to be, you know, either you know, just in front of the ball so we catch the ball first and then, you know, and then hit down, take a divot. But what happens when we move the ball back in our stance to hit this low punch shot? We're now catching the ball earlier in this arc. And I don't know if you can see it here, but when I've got earlier in this arc, the club's still travelling down, but it's also travelling out to the right hand side. So this is where I was getting caught out, you know, moving the ball back in my stance. And now my club is travelling a lot more from the inside. I was hitting big blocks and then using the hands and flipping it over and hitting big hooks. So what I really need to do now is when I move the ball back in my stance, I'm going to have to now try and shift this arc around so that it's now, when I catch it earlier on the, the, the arc, that it's still travelling towards the target. So we're going to shift the ball position back. We're then going to shift our alignment to the left. You know, and all this is really going to come through practice, so you know how much, how far left you've got to aim to get the ball to fly straight towards the target. So you need to get on the range and really work at practicing these shots if you play all your golf in the wind. I'm just going to go ahead and hit one here and just show you how I would play this shot. So, you know, I'm set up here, I've got my club, you know, I'm really going to try and, you know, take some speed out of the swing. You'll see me with a you know, abbreviated follow through. Um, and in my setup, I'm going to set up here, move the ball back in my stance, but now I know that I need to aim to the left. So back in my stance, I'm aiming to the left. Nice smooth swing with an abbreviated follow through. Hopefully, you can hit those shots that fly low underneath the wind and you're not fighting the wind the whole time. So go ahead and try that, folks. Get onto the range and really practice those shots and I'm sure it's going to help you control the ball in the wind. Thanks very much for listening.